All right, a uh, short video on uh, calibration standards. Uh, these are the calibration standards that come with the uh, device. There's an open, a short, and a 50 ohm dummy load. And the real trick to these guys is that um, if you look at vector network analyzers and you look at Cal standards, these, these Cal standards uh, can go anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 just for these three components. And why they're so expensive is they're made to very, very ex ex uh, exacting mechanical specifications. The diameters have to be exactly the same. The centration of the pins has to be exactly the same. And more importantly, the distance in the Z direction or, the, or going into the connector needs to be very, very accurately controlled because your information in a vector net network analyzer all comes down to phase information. And so the phase uh, is going to be a function of the distance between the connector on the VNA and the inside of the connector on your Cal standard. So whatever depth the, the uh, radio waves go inside, and either in the, in the case of an open, they're going to bounce and come back out, and uh, they're going to do so um, uh, with a 180-degree with a phase change. Uh, the uh, uh, short is going to come back at a zero degree phase change and then the uh, the load is the load uh, but the distance between uh, where the connector mates onto these uh, is very very important um, so you saw me build uh, this little guy uh, which is a female version uh, so I had uh, an open, a short, and a load and the way that I did that is I just shaved off uh, any protruding uh, connector off of uh, these females such that the, the phase plane is the same on each one. So where the open is and where the short is and where the re load resistors are are all on the same plane. So that's how I accomplished it here. Um, I thought I'd get around to making a set of BNC uh, Cal standards uh, just for fun. Uh, so uh, I had some of these in the junk box uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this or focus on it. There we go. Uh, so, um, wow, this is not focusing. Uh, why aren't we focusing? Just a second here. There we go. Um, so, uh, they don't really have a good plane, um, a good reference plane. And so what I did was I, uh, I took a knife and uh, I basically brought it in and pushed it against the metal here and I cut that little uh, plastic bit off. I ended up with like a little washer that slid off. And then I had uh, a plane. I still had this thing sticking out. And so I brought in a pair of, uh, a pair of cutters and I, and I cut it flush. Um, so what I did is I ended up with something like this. So I had um, uh, one uh, connector that got cut off and everything is flush. So this is now going to be my open. Okay, so this is my new Cal open. And then uh, I took a piece of braid material. I actually used some solder wick <laughs> as the braid material. And I soldered across uh, the uh, connector and the center pin uh, braid such that uh, hopefully uh, the reflection happens right at that, uh, at that plane. And then uh, I took some 100 ohm resistors and I actually uh, spanned the gap on both sides. So 100 ohms and 100 ohms end ends up being 50 ohms. And so uh, that's how I got my load resistors on the same plane. Now this, only th this thing only goes to a gigahertz, so you don't have to go too, too crazy about making all these Cal standards exactly right. Um, but there we go. Now we have a, uh, uh, it's a, a male on the other side. Now, so now we have an open, a short, and a load. And open, a short, and a load. And an open, a short, and a load. So there we go. Uh, now I have a whole bunch of uh, Cal standards.